No, 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 no. I know this problem. Why? Oh. <laughs> you didn't know it was that bad. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Have you seen this shot? I just saw it. Dad. Yeah, you can see what it from my head. <laughs> oh, there it is. You don't have to look carefully. Look how out yeah. of square that is. I mean, these are unusable legs. See that inside corner, how open that inside oh, corner yeah. is? This not being square makes that gap enormous. The humidity system installed in Massachusetts plus installing the packer blocks earlier in the process, that may be the entire fix we need. But the problem is, the fix we need doesn't help us with this current crop of parts. Is this a bad time? I just got some Dougie cam footage and they are having a big issue with all these legs. Yeah, they that are. are out of square. We have, so let me give you some background. We've been having some minor issues, which is actually tied in with the humidification system. Actually, I have some legs over here. Yeah. Hey, Ray, what's up? Uh, hey, Matt, do you know Ray? I don't know Ray. He's Ray, he's my father. Oh, hey. Wormwood yes. started behind his house. It might end up back behind it his house. It might. <laughs> some of it actually is. <laughs> Ray is currently here to take away a bunch of the scrap. That's crappy. That we can't get picked up and can't get rid of. We're literally taking to his house in a trailer. Oh, great. Bundle by bundle to store it. To store it. Our, these legs are probably gonna end up there too, right? Yeah, they will. What's happening is the legs are like bending in this way mm -hmm. towards this notch. But we have a lots of different reasons why this is happening. Some of it is environmental, hence the humidification system. Right. The ones coming out of our machine are perfect. Then they sit around for a few weeks and as they dry out, they're moving a little bit, which wood does as it dries out. Yeah. Then we're sending them to Pennsylvania mm -hmm. and they're getting significantly more out of square. Right. So they're trying to figure out down there what's going on as well. Are the guys installing the humidifier system right now? Are they here? Are they uh, coming? They have been in and out driving around. There's a fan hanging up somewhere. Oh. I'm looking for this. There's one. Whoa, whoa, oh. So they haven't hooked him up to anything yet. They just hung him up in the ceiling. How soon is this going to be operational? Wednesday. Wednesday. Next okay. week. So what Ray. Cool trailer? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> the trailer with all the sticks loaded on him. Oh, yeah. We're going to grab Ray a stapler so we can staple a red flag on the end for safety. Oh, my God. It's gotten bigger. Behind those red bins are more. And then over all the plywood, this is all more. just garbage. Oh, there we go. That's it? Oh, no. How many trips do you think it's going to take for us to get rid of all this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. You're a brave man, Ray. <laughs> I can see where you and Doug get it. <laughs> get what? The attractiveness? Uh, yes. Yep. That's, That's what exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, that'll keep everyone safe. Exactly. Nice. Perfect. Yep. Yeah. Done. See, we need to get a Worm Life camera at Ray's house. Definitely. So they can see him with a tractor trying to get this thing off of this. Yeah. Enjoy. Maybe when we end up burning all this stuff, we'll have to <laughs> have to head down there too. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I just noticed, this is all boarded up. This is like the OG bay door from when we tried to put the we first tried CNC to get the in. the CNC machine in. Yeah. yeah. And then with, with the sander, we had like a half inch. Oh! <laughs> wow. Jesus! Did he just do a wheelie and it? So clearly this door was way too small. The metal shop, they got some new machines, yep. which could not fit through any of these doors. Oh. Uh, bye, Dad. So we had a bigger door put in. But the best part is they put in the bigger door. The riggers were here dropping off their laser today, <laughs> and it didn't fit. So they cut a giant hole in the side of the wall and cut it a little a bit too small. So it's all boarded up until they install a new garage door. Great. Which was much bigger than the last one. I forget what we were talking about originally. 
Uh, we were talking about legs. The leg. It's a big problem, and we're still trying to figure out where the bulk of the problem is. If it's happening in Massachusetts, or if it's happening in Pennsylvania. Mm. I think it's a little bit of A, a little bit of B. Yeah. But the good news is, we're catching them all before they go out. Hey. Yeah, of course. You're of the, course. You're the new warm life star. Yeah, people I mean, want I, more I, of you. It's a great episode. They want it's more great. Ian. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do one for old time's sake. I want to advocate something. I think we need to increase prices. Oh. I, yeah. I it's been a while. Need, since we did that. I think we need to increase prices across the board, and I've got a couple data points. A. She's going crazy. Things are getting expensive. Okay. <laughs> Reality check. We were supposed to put in an order for magnets. We thought we put it in the order six months ago, turns out we didn't. So we put it in the order today. Six months ago, we got a quote for these magnets at 43 cents a magnet. Yep. The new quote we just got is 58 cents a magnet. Now that does not sound crazy. So you're like, oh, it's only 15 cents a piece. Well, so what kind of inflation is this? It's 500,000 magnets. That's $75,000. Where we're not even a major manufacturer, our cost just went up $75,000 in a handful of months. Oh yeah, no, I have all our wood suppliers contacting us being like, wood's probably going up 20 to 30%. Meanwhile, there's another thing that's pumping. I was walking into Walmart two days ago in Pennsylvania. This is in Pennsylvania? This is in that's Pennsylvania. Crazier. Starting- oh, I can't, sorry. There we go, yeah. Starting wage at Walmart, 16 to 17.50. Starting wage at Walmart. That's in Pennsylvania. That's Their Pens minimum wage is 725, I think. Exactly. I love increasing wages. Yep. But the thing is, all of our workers are looking at Wal they want to know they make more than people at Walmart. I want them to make more than Walmart. Yep. That means we gotta give raises. Well, we gotta get <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, slow <laughs> we well, we are giving raises in the form of insurance, in paid holidays, in paid time out. Like we've given out $650,000 in benefits this year alone, yes. on top of what we normally do. I'm just concerned. Yeah, no, we are. I have been thinking about how we're gonna deal with this, and I came up with the same thing. I was like, we need to raise prices for the first time since I've been here. I think we need across the board 10% price increase. Oh my God, that's high. Well, <laughs> I mean, it's not high considering all yeah. our materials are going up 30%. If, if all, yeah, exactly. If all our materials go up 30%, and then to keep up with wage inflation, the wages go up, say, 30%, a 10% increase doesn't even cut it. Uh, yeah. I mean, we can't go up 30%. That's nuts. No, I'm not advocating that. Have we ever raised prices? I don't. Once. One time? Have, One time at Sherwood. We yes. sort of did the same thing where we sort of sat and we're just like, Oh my God, like yeah. the world has changed since we started. And I think, was it a 10% across the board increase? I think we did it Sherwood. I, I believe, I mean, it was rounded. And that was probably yeah. rounded it. five yeah. years ago. It was more than four years ago, because of like three and a half years ago, we got rid of Red Oak, which yes. is our lowest offering, That's... which bumped Cherry to our lowest. So it's like the world has continued to change Bro, over the last we... four years, and we haven't yeah. changed I mean, anything. we should have been doing like three to 4% a year, which by now it would have been like 20% after compound. So we started at 10 bucks an hour. On average, we'd give out a buck, maybe a little bit more per year. We have barely kept up with inflation. I would feel a lot better about that if the price of a house in Taunton didn't go up $100,000 in that amount of time. That's the other thing, right? Everyone's getting these raises, but guess what? They're not moving out of their parents' house. Yeah. I'll tell you that, that is for damn sure. I'm thinking of moving back in. <laughs> <laughs> you do you. Yeah, I would, no, advocate, no, I would I, advocate a 10% price increase yeah, across the board. Yeah, I'll, um, I will work with Nick and like lay it all out, take a look at it. So if they, hey, buy. I was gonna say, if you're watching now, this video, buy, buy now. Yeah. Buy right <laughs> now. We just turned it into a selling opportunity. <laughs> like this is salesman Doug. <laughs> buy, it, buy it right now. Lock in these low prices because they are, they're going away with the stimulus checks. All right, folks? Yeah. <laughs>
of Crazy Ed's Overstock Wood Parts Emporium. Due to the recent merger between Keystone and Wormwood, many things have been discontinued. They want to throw all this away. I want to pass the savings on to you. We've got square curved chair legs. Turned chair legs. Random dowels. Make a chair. Prop open a window! Beat random people! And well, if it's random, it's probably here at Crazy Ed's Overstocked Wood Parts Emporium. Come on down!